All right, let's give you some feedback related to your portfolio here. Um, the the first thing I want to say is that this is probably the most diverse portfolio. It has the largest range of um, media. So you're doing everything from metals to fabrics or, okay, design of, uh, to books, you know. So that's all over. Uh, that can be both good and bad. Uh, just depends, on, obviously, on the employer and what the employer needs. So um, one thing, little nitpicky thing I would like to fix is alignments. You know, look at this alignment. It's off. And if we just made this picture shorter and that one shorter, we might, or made this one bigger, we might be able to line that up perfectly. And that would help this get aligned. And I would make all these pictures the same size. So that's all aligned. And then align these the same. So they're all aligned. It just, I mean, yeah, you always want it. If it's close, you might as well have it perfect. And um, I think we can do that just by the changing the sizes of the images. I mean, that's my guess. I don't really know the the CSS or the HTML structure of this page, but okay. Um, looking at the rings. I love your little um, star spin good. I'm not a big fan of the centered type. Um, titles, okay, I, I can live with it. Um, but your centered body copy, that's eh, eh, not, not considered professional uh, great uh, pattern great display of pattern and very clever use of your own artwork in the background there you might want to give yourself um, you know a credit <laughs> right here good samples so this part comes across as an identity guide. Yeah, and this, this comes usually later in the book. Um, it's fine, I suppose, that it's presented earlier. Um, and this is how the logo looks applied to elements. Usually we introduce the logo first, the color standards, typography, and then we get to this, but I can can handle that. Again, same comment as before related to your type. Um, I like this one very much. I like the close-ups. Um, so I'm really happy with this. And if it seems like I'm going fast, I am. It's because I recorded this already and then none of the sound worked. So it took me hours and hours and then I just had to throw it all away. Um, this is one of my, my favorite ones. Um, really well done, good use of color, good use of harmony, so I'm very happy there. This one, I think everyone in the whole class made the logo too big on the letterhead, uh, although yours is not outrageously too big, thank goodness. All right, I'm cool with that. This one, um, I love having the animation in here. That's the real thing. You know, it's arguable whether you need more, but I would still do like a storyboard, at least four things. Just expand it a little bit. It's a good thing. That is, it's a good piece in your portfolio. No question about it. Um, interesting. Again, uh, great range of tools. I'm just going to ignore that phone call. I just keep calling them back. They keep calling me back. Forget it. Um, good stickers. Yeah, okay. Looks um, very real very much applied. In other words, it looks like you have experience in the field when you show me those stickers. I'm really glad that you clarify the tools, you know, so people understand that this wasn't 
uh, photo emulsion or something like that. You just simply paint it on it. I hope you put some kind of clear coat or, well, I don't know if clear coat, but something that, to preserve it because it looks good. So, <clears throat> so again, the overall impression is, wow, a range of skills. Um, so you may want to break your portfolio into categories um, because you have such a range of skills. And if someone's looking for you just for traditional graphics, you know, you'd have a graphics portfolio and I just go to that and maybe a pattern portfolio and maybe like, you know, artwork applied to fabrics, clothing, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, because it's a great range. So either that or you're going to have to make different portfolios for different clients, maybe. I don't know. So I have no doubt you'll you'll find a job. Uh, I would encourage you to fix the type. So I hope you find this feedback helpful. I'm trying to be as critical as the Russian. Thank you.